Hi guys, my name is Marlene McCohen and welcome to Parent Tip Tuesday. You guys know that this is Picasso hiding behind the bead bag. You probably couldn't even see him. He's my mustache parody and this is Jersey. She's playing with the beads. And if you see, Jersey has a little bit of a pink mohawk today. Check it out. Isn't she cute? Um, just so you guys know, I did not color her hair or anything like that with her feathers. I, of course, did not color her feathers. Um, that's just like a prop feather. It came from my uh, jewelry, which she probably destroyed. And then I put in a little toy box for them. And they were upstairs with me. And I brought out their little toy box to keep them busy. And they found all sorts of beads and other things like that. So, today... Aside from my crazy bird lady shirt, which I'm wearing and we are not to discuss. No, just kidding. I thought that you guys would like this today. Um, we're going to talk about how to potty train your parrot. Now, guys, I don't know if you can notice this, but uh, we do have Vinny and Rocky here. They're in the background. Uh, they didn't want to come be in the video today. Rocky, he just was lazy and Vinny already flew away. So, here goes. How do you train your parrot to go potty? Not the easiest thing in the world, but actually fairly simple if you know what to do. What happens most time that people do wrong is this. Where are you, baby? Okay, he's going to go over there and destroy stuff, so hold on. Come here. I didn't even see you get out of there. Yeah. Okay, so what most people do wrong when they're trying to potty train their parrot is this. You're playing with your bird. And suddenly, he goes potty on your shirt, he's a baby, doesn't know better, on the couch, whatever. You clean it up and you're like, I gotta put the bird back. I don't want him to mess up anymore. That is completely the wrong attitude, guys. What you actually have to do is gauge how much time it will be before he goes potty again. So, for example, Picasso might go potty every half hour, every 40 minutes or so. Once you gauge that information, that is a valuable piece of information for you to work with. Um, Jersey might go potty like every hour or 45 minutes to an hour. So with that information, this is what you do. From the last moment that your bird goes potty, you wait until the approximate time that you think they should be going potty again. And then, what you do is you take your bird off of the fun time that you're having and you put your bird back on the stand. I'll move this so you guys can see. And you tell your bird, go potty. Of course, he's not going to understand what you're talking about because this is the first time you're doing it, right? So you tell him to go potty. If you are lucky and he needed to go potty, here, baby. If you happen to be lucky and he needed to go potty, then you congratulate him. You basically say, good bird. You pick him up, he's got his bead, so he's like pretty excited. You say, good bird. You give him kisses, you give him a treat, and then you bring him back to play with you. This is really important, guys, because he knows now that he did something and he wasn't gonna get locked in the cage, he didn't get punished for it, and then he gets to come out and play with you again. So he'll learn that it's not the worst thing in the world that he's going back to go potty. The second most important thing to remember is that you do take him out of the cage after. If you don't take him out, then you're kind of just punishing him for pottying and, and it, it really just doesn't work. And he doesn't get like the benefit of getting to come out again. Now, what happens if you put him back and he doesn't go potty at all? This is where the beginning stages of training are. You have to keep repeating yourself and say, go potty, go potty. He won't know what it is you want from him, but eventually, give or take five, maximum 10 minutes, he's going to go potty. And then you do the same thing. Congratulate him. Take him out. After multiple times of doing this, he's going to know exactly what go potty means. And when you put him back, that's what he's going to do. If you see your bird trying to do it, but he can't, then uh, you kind of just misgauge time. It means he understands you. He's trying, but please don't force me. So, um, cause you know, that can happen. So after a while, your bird will know what you want. And then after a while, he will tell you, I need to go potty, take me to the cage. How will he tell you this? Well, if your bird talks like my African gray George did, my African gray would literally say, go potty or time for potty. If your bird doesn't talk, 
like Picasso. Picasso, he just chirps in my ear and I'm like, oh yeah, he's been quiet, he chirped, he wants to go potty. Jersey, she sometimes runs back and forth. She never like potties on anyone. She just like wants to get off of you and that's kind of like a clue or a cue. Like, hey, take me to my stand or take me somewhere. So these are all kind of really good cues and clues and ideas of how you can tell that they want to go potty. If you're cuddling them and suddenly they jump up and they're like moving around and you're like, what's happening? It may, might mean they want to go potty. Or if they suddenly kind of nip or bite, it might mean they want to go potty. So especially if they're trained, they'll do those things to let you know. So guys, it's kind of fairly simple. It takes a little bit of patience, but actually they get it really, really quickly. So um, birds are really smart, remember that. And then once you have potty trained them, just remember to discover what your bird's specific cues are. With that being said, those of you who don't have potty trained birds or do have potty trained birds, one more thing is you will notice when your bird wants to go potty, he'll start lowering his butt a little bit. And in that moment, you can also grab him and take him real quick to a stand, hopefully something close by, and tell him go potty and he'll do it then too, and that's really good. So if those of you who are wondering when he's gonna go, you'll start noticing that cue. And um, that is also very helpful. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, feel free to comment. I'm really good at responding to comments today. I'm still working on uploading or getting the discipline for my video of the day, but I will upload more than one of those for you guys today. I actually caught Rocky watching his show, which is Orange is the New Black recently, but it's kind of dark, but you can hear him singing to it, so I'll upload that. And um, thanks for following us all around. Thanks for subscribing. We love new subscribers. Please help out fellow parrot owners in your parrot community. Do not attack them for asking questions. It's so important that people feel like they have a place to go and learn. I see it on the parrot forums all the time, people attack, and you guys can't do that. You have to help everybody out because that's the only way to learn. Not everybody has birds, so people don't have a place to go. So remember that, guys. Uh, we love you so much. Thank you for tuning in, and um, bye.